Good afternoon, good time of day, wherever you are, and welcome. My name is uh, Maxime Schreier. I'm a professor at Boston College, and I direct the project on Russian and Eurasian Jewry here at the Davis Center at Harvard University. And uh, our project, now in its fourth year, is generously supported by Genesis Philanthropy Group, and also, of course, by the Davis Center and its dedicated staff, whom I'd like to thank, and by the Center for Jewish Studies uh, here at Harvard. Uh, before I introduce uh, today's illustrious speaker, Professor Yuba Jurgensen, I just want to tell you that this is our second event this fall. In October, we had Professor Sergei Khan of Dartmouth, who spoke uh, about Alexander Goldenweiser, the Jewish Russian American anthropologist. And uh, today I'm thrilled uh, to welcome Luba Jorgensen, who is joining us from Paris. Luba Jorgensen is a native of Moscow and longtime resident of France, a scholar, a translingual writer, translator, and full professor at the Department of Slavic Studies of Université Paris Sorbonne, where she directs the research center URBM, which is a center of interdisciplinary research on Central. Eastern and Balkan Europe, a little bit like our own Davis Center. And uh, also Professor Jorgensen heads the research seminar, Narrative Fiction History, associated with the Center uh, de Recherche sur les Arts et les Langages. Her fields of interest are, and I'll just name the principal ones, uh, memory of violence in Eastern and Central Europe, Judaism and literary modernity, and of course, exile and translingualism. She's one of the most esteemed cultural historians of Stalinism and the Gulag, and I think certainly is sans pareil among French scholars. Uh, Jorgensen is the author of many books, which include Is the Concentration Camp Experience Unutterable? and The Gulag, Testimony and Archives, which is co-authored with uh, Nicholas Wirth, as well as numerous articles and collective volumes on the memory of historical events of the 20th century. In 2003, she edited the full version of Varlam Shalamov's Kalima, Kalima Tales in French, and in 2010, the full version of uh, Julius Margolin's A Journey to the Land of Zika, of which you'll hear shortly. Lube Jorgensen edits the book series L'Usage de la Mémoire in Paris, this is uh, with Edition Boutra, and in this capacity, and this is something I'd like to emphasize as a literary curator, she has brought many literary voices, Russian and Jewish, to the uh, French reading public. And finally, I'd also like to take a minute to highlight this very special book by Luba Jorgensen, which uh, is uh, in the original, Lieu de Peril, a book about the life of a Jewish-Russian translingual, a life with and between languages. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, perhaps pride in what I'm saying because uh, last year we featured the English translation of the book by Meredith Sofer, Where There is Danger, which appeared in the book series I edited for Academic Studies Press. Now, I should tell you that last spring we had plans to bring Professor Jorgensen to Boston to speak, but COVID made its own arrangements. We are, however, most grateful to you, Luba, grateful for agreeing to speak to us today via Zoom about Russian Jews in the turmoil of history, three ages of Stalinism. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Maxime, for this invitation. Thanks uh, to the uh, Davis Center and for, to all of uh, you. I'm happy to, to be uh, with you today, even though I would have preferred to be with you really, as uh, it was uh, originally planned uh, and not by Zoom. And I ap apologize in advance for my French-Russian accent and my mistakes uh, in English. Uh, so before um, uh, I would like to to just to show you uh, the portraits of uh, our three writers. So I will share my screen with you just uh, for one minute. Um, Uh, 
I hope uh, that you can see them. Here it's Markus, Julius Margolin, and Evgenia Ginsburg. So, why have I chosen to present today these three figures of the Jewish liter literary world among so, so many others? Uh, first of all, because I like them very much, but also because they represent each in their own way, the Jewish intellectual destinies on the 20th century. Through them, one can study not only literature, but also history. We will therefore try to grasp the links between literature and history, because bringing these three figures together also raises the question, how does this history, the history of the Jews under Stalin, take shape in literature? We can speak here of a community of destinies insofar as all three are victims of Stalinist terror, but they are also different in their identity, intellectual and aesthetic choices. 